Hello, this video shows you how to set up your attendance for English 110 and how it'll automatically go into your gradebook if you do it this way. So, um, you'll notice that I have this sorry setup kind of broken down by weeks. I did that in a previous video. This is kind of an ongoing video series that shows you how to set up a class. I'm going to set it up for this class up here. Okay, so to set up attendance, uh, what you're going to do, what I do is, uh, first of all, you got to click on the wheel and turn editing on. So let's just make, let's just do make some changes here. And I keep my attendance up here in the in the general part right here. So it's going to add an activity, and I'm going to change it. Oops, you can almost see it because it's off the screen here. To attendance, attendance. Okay. And now, so it's got the general. Just leave it as attendance. That's fine. Now it is part of the grade, and so what we want to do is we want to keep that as point. Keep the maximum grade as a hundred. Um, and then the grade category. Now, right now it says not categorized. This is important. In the very first video, I showed you how to set up your gradebook. And if you haven't done that yet, then stop. Stop this video right now uh, and go watch that and set up your gradebook first. It'll save you a lot of time down the road. So set up your gradebook first. Now, if you already set up your gradebook, when you click on this, it'll show you the categories that you set up. Wow. So you can say, hey, for attendance, it's actually going to go into the attendance category. Ta-da! So there's that. Okay. That's the first thing you're going to do. Okay. But you're not quite done yet. No. So now we need to actually create the different dates. So we're going to click on it. So you, you think, oh, I want to hit edit. No. For this one, now we need to create the sessions that they're going to attend. Now let's say that um, you'll notice that right now there's no sessions that they are set up. So what we want to do first is that since this is part of the grade, we want to go click on settings. Because settings is how the grades are determined. And it defaults to present being worth two points, late is worth one point, excused is worth one point. This is weird to me. I mean, if they're excused, I don't understand why they shouldn't have four points. So I just changed that. That's not school policy. It's just it is what it is. So I just update that. Okay. And notice the acronyms, uh, P-L-E-A. Leave these here because you have to send your um, grade book to the school at the end of the semester. And it's best if we kind of use the same acronyms. Yeah. So, okay, so that just sets the grading up. So that's taken care of. Now we need to add some sessions. Now, this does not make any sense logically, at least to me. So just bear with me. So let's say this class meets, um, well, the first day of class is going to be the 16th. Yes, I can click on the right button. 16th of August, 2017. And let's say this class meets from 10 to 10.50. Okay. Uh, allow students to record their own attendance. <laughs> no, never. Sorry, I don't let them do that. No. <laughs> no. Okay, anyway, moving on. So, then we want to, now this is where it gets a little weird, okay? So we want to repeat the session above, because, okay, and again, this is a Monday, Wednesday, Friday class, so we're going to click on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Now, if it was a Tuesday, Thursday class, obviously, you just do Tuesday, Thursday. Now, you're going to want to click here, the repeat every week. So don't do this. No, that doesn't work. Don't ask me why. But instead, what you're going to want to do is repeat until the last day of class. Now, I'm not sure exactly when the last day of class is. For giggles, I'll put just the 19th of December. Okay? So, again, keep this at one week. Don't change this, because if you do, then it won't work. You want to change it to this. Okay? Now, then you hit Add. Oop. Okay? Now, again, that's kind of weird. But now you've added your sessions. Okay? And you'll notice that it this does it every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So let's say that we know that we're going to have fall break on the 16th. Well, it's easy enough. You just would click on this. It would delete that session. Okay? No problem. Or if you, you, know, if you want to make it really easy, you could just click on the sessions you want to delete. So let's say we know we're not going to have any days here. And let's say, oh, well, we're going to be gone for Thanksgiving. So that's going to be gone. Then you can just go down here and click on the ones you want and then choose and then hit delete. And then it would just delete the ones that you want to get rid of. See that? Cool, huh? Okay. So there is how you set up your things. Now you can look at it. So this is showing you all the different classes. Um, what it will default to is just by weeks. Okay. And so let's say we're going to start school. So it'll just show you just the ones for that week. Now to take attendance, you would click on the green button and it would show all the students and then you just click next to their name if they're there, if they're excused, if they're late, or if they're absent. 
Um, my recommendation is, and what I do, now whether it's you know right or wrong, it's just the way that I do it, I have, the first thing I do as soon as class starts is I take attendance. And I just, um, I just mark it down, okay? And that way students understand that that's the first thing I'm going to do and they are going to be, I don't have any five minute window as far as late, I don't have them write down their names if they're there or not. I just take attendance and it automatically gets recorded into the system and it goes right into the gradebook. And it just saves me a lot of time and effort and that's what we're trying to do. So again, sessions. And you can always go back in and change something. So let's say, again, you know, we don't have any students listed here, but let's say someone, you know, they were, I marked them as absent and then they came in late, then I can always just go back in and change it to late. Or if we get a note later that they were excused, then you can change it to excused. Okay. But um, yeah, so that's basically how you set up the grade book. So again, when you go back to your course, okay, and let's just switch the editing off here, then you'll see that's where attendance is. So again, start a class, I just come in, I click attendance, and then it takes me right to my first day, and I just click on the day, and I take attendance. And it automatically goes right into the gradebook, and it saves it into the system, and it's very all nice, nice. Okay, so there's the gradebook.